I'm feeling a bit depressed today because the sun's not out. Choose happiness. No. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Focus. I'm sorry I'm lying down, but I don't feel very well. You get to lie down, so why can't I? This video I tried to film last week. If you've seen my last video, then you will know what I'm talking about. Let's not mention it again, because it will make me sad. Yeah, this video is going to be misconceptions about depression. I've made a video about this before. No, I haven't. What are you talking about, Charlotte? I've written blog posts about misconceptions about eating disorders. I've talked about misconceptions about different mental illnesses, but I don't think I've ever done anything about depression before. So I thought, why don't I do it now? What is stopping me? Nothing apart from my own stupid fucked up head apparently. So I have tried to do this video twice now. Third time lucky, shall we say. I hope so, because I really want to get this video out there. So yeah, shall we get started? Whilst I found it easy thinking of misconceptions about depression, I found it really hard thinking of the actual reasonings behind it. So I might just be talking shit. I know what my misconceptions are, but it kind of seems obvious to me why they're misconceptions. It might just be a really short video. The first misconception is you can tell someone is depressed just by looking at them. That's bullshit, isn't it? Well, some people you can kind of see that they have a sadness about them. Not everyone has to have kind of a rain cloud of doom over their head all the time. And I think most people in their life will meet people that they would never have assumed that that person would suffer from depression. Depression, like every mental illness, doesn't, I can't remember what the word is. It doesn't care who it picks. It can pick any gender, any age, any nationality, any culture. You can have everything in the world. You can have money, you can have the best job. You can seemingly have everything and have depression. It doesn't always have to be about what you have. Depression is a chemical imbalance. To me, and I don't know if everyone will agree with this, but I think there are kind of two types of, well there's lots of types of depression. There's like the chemical depression and there's the depression that is what I call kind of situational. You have depression that's brought on by your outside environment. So situational depression kind of wouldn't have happened if certain things outside outside your body wouldn't have happened whereas kind of inside depression would have happened no matter what if that makes sense the next misconception is that you always have to appear to be depressed which is kind of similar but not quite because what i mean is is that someone who has depression they don't always have to look sad they can have good days they are allowed to smile that doesn't mean that they're fixed it doesn't mean that they're cured it just means that they are allowed to smile. It doesn't mean that the, the mental torment that's going on in their head is any less. It just means that they're smiling. It just means that they're having a bit of light relief, you know? Focus. I've actually just covered my next point because what I was gonna say is if someone is smiling, they're not depressed. So thank you, um, past Charlotte, for covering future Charlotte's next point. Well done, you've just cut my list down, making the video even shorter. Having depression is not just being a bit sad. This is something that really pisses me off because, you know, people use the word depression or depressed as an adjective for just being a bit down in the dumps and it's so wrong. It's like when people use the term OCD or being a bit tidy, like, or liking things to be tidy and neat. It really pisses me off. If you're having a bad day, if your boyfriend's broken up with you, if your boss has shouted at you, you're not depressed, you're having a bad day. If things are really, really bad, you might obviously go on to develop depression, but just having a bad day it doesn't mean you're depressed. It means you're a bit sad. That's not depression. Okay, the next misconception is that being told to cheer up will help. Now, whilst the sentiment is nice, it kind of belittles the torment that is going on in your head if someone's like, cheer up, love, it might never happen. Mm, fuck off, you dickhead, it already has. There's nothing more insulting than someone telling you, cheer up, it won't hurt to smile, or one of those seemingly positive or inspirational sayings. I don't know, maybe I'm weird in this, but it just really pisses me off because it does, to me, belittle what I'm going through. I'm not walking around with a face like a smacked ass on purpose. I'm doing it because I'm going through absolute sheer hell in my head. If I could change that, I would. I'm not doing it on purpose, so don't make me feel even worse by making me feel like it's my fault. The next misconception is being on antidepressants 
means that you're a failure. Oh shit. Obviously, this goes without saying that this is crap. People need antidepressants to help give them a boost to get out of really low times. I've tried lots of different antidepressants. I've never found any that have kind of made any sort of a difference. I know lots of people do find them to be helpful. It doesn't mean that you're a failure. I don't really know what else to say. No one should ever make you feel like you're a failure for being on antidepressants. And it also goes on to my last misconception, which is that depression means that you're weak. Now, as with what I was saying about being on antidepressants means that you're a failure, I think this is more internalised. Hopefully, society has moved on enough so that depression isn't seen as weakness. It's more how we view ourselves. If anyone does make you feel like antidepressants mean that you are a failure or that depression is a weakness, then those people need to be cut out of your life and they are not worth your time. I've never felt like depression has made me weak. I just hate being depressed. Well, it's really hard to know what to say because it seems really obvious. Depression is not a weakness. The, some of the strongest people I know have depression and are fighting depression. They are some of the most beautiful, kind-hearted, strong, generous and loving people I know. So why would that be seen as a weakness? I hope you like this video. If you do, then please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I hope to see you soon. I'm sorry that this has been a bit of a weird video. Bye.